Hey everybody, welcome to another episode in the Lens Wizard Photoshop series for beginning photographers and Photoshop users. So in this video we're going to talk about coloring this gun. So this gun was brought over and added as an element. We had a toy gun in its place. We used a toy gun for the prop in the photo shoot and we can see that toy gun down here. If we click on this we see there's our toy gun. Okay, but we are going to, we covered up some of the toy gun and then we placed in this gun, but this was brought over from Adobe stock. And if you've seen the previous videos where we brought it in from Adobe and then I cut it off the background, I want to show two techniques for coloring this gun and getting it right for this video. One is a real quick down and dirty. Uh, actually, they're both down and dirty. So I used an adjustment layer. When I cut it off the background, I darkened it and I added a lot of contrast and to separate it from its background. So here I can brighten, I see you know what's going on here. I need to make a clipping mask. I need to clip this layer to the gun. So that's going to be Control Alt G. And now when I clip it and I adjust, it's only going to adjust the gun. That's very important. Okay, so let's run it down and bring it, I don't want to get it too dark, but I'm going to look at it. Another thing that I really should be doing is backing out and looking at the overall image and not looking at it too close. So I'm going to say right about there. Now, I will say that this image was shot around F8, so everything is pretty much in focus and sharp and crisp, and we haven't fully edited and added any sharpening yet, but let's add some contrast to our gun. make it very contrasty. Now I will be adding other contrast to this image. So I, it's kind of imperative that I do not over contrast the gun at this point, but contrast it enough that leaves room for when I do global contrasting to the whole image. So let's, there's no contrast, there's middle of the road. I'm going to say right about there somewhere and darken that right about there. Okay, now that's one method that you can use. And I'm going to turn that off and I'm going to disconnect it from... Now here's the other one that maybe even is more down and dirty. And that is just highlight your layer, control J, copy it, go up here to your blending modes and go to multiply. And the one thing that Multiply did, I noticed, let's see, let's go back. There's a little bit of coloration in here, okay? And when we hit Multiply, it gives us a lot of that. Now, Multiply, another thing it does, if you zoom in really far about here, and we're at like 400%, it does add a little bit of a highlight. And that's okay. I'm not worried about it because if I'm back out here, uh, let's get over here. If I'm out here where I'm looking at the whole image, it's that's not, not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. But I might want to have to go in and fix this. And how I would do that is to merge these two layers and use rubber stamp tool and maybe fix that up. Let, let me just go ahead and do that. Um, these are... I'm going to have to rasterize them first because they are smart objects. So smart objects have to be uh, rasterized. And then go to the top one, hit Control E. It's going to ask me to apply my masks. I did. And this is, again, down and dirty because this is just a sample of how to do this. Rubber stamp tool, grab out here in the middle gray right here and just work your way over. Uh, pay attention about your color. You don't want to get too much of a difference in your color and you don't want to get into those ribs. I don't know what this color is coming from, but sometimes when you start really bending the pixels with elements, 
moving around, cutting them off of layers, and just doing all these things. This is some of the the dark side to Photoshop that just comes it comes with the territory. And as you can see, I messed that one up. But now you got to keep in mind, we're not going to be looking at this close up, so it's not imperative that you come in here and like turn this into a Rembrandt piece of art just clean it up now you do have that highlight and I can show you how to get rid of that now see that's too much right there that's not going to work I can maybe find something up here that will work and then just keep working my way down And as far as cleaning up those edges over there, I would just, there's uh, several different ways to do it. I think actually the, the one that I should show that would be the best is to click on, go to your layer right here and hold down the control key, click, you see how it highlights everything. And if we go up here to select, modify, contract, and if we contract it by two pixels, we should be pretty good. And we want to then, and actually two pixels might be too much. Might be too much. Let's see, control C. Two pixels is a lot. reapply a new layer mask and you see it cut everything in it cut it in quite a bit and it took all that extra smuts off so there is a way to color it ignore these two little numbers here that was from the very beginning of this image when I removed color cast and that's in another tutorial but it did a pretty good job. We're even seeing some of the rust and stuff like that on this uh, slide right here. So I guess the next uh, tutorial will be covering editing the rest of the image. Thank you so much, everybody, and have a great day. Check me out. I'm Lens Wizard on Instagram. I'm Reckless Pixel on Facebook, or you can go to RecklessPixel.com. Hit like, hit subscribe. Oh, 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 oh,